Hello everyone, this is video tutorial on Photoscan program version 0.9. I'm going to show you how to process images of an object with Photoscan standard edition to generate a 3D model that can be shared, for example, as a PDF file. In this tutorial we will run through the basic steps. The first thing you need to do is to adjust the program settings for your project if you use the program for the first time on the machine. Open Tools menu and click Photoscan Preferences command. On General tab set the path to the Photoscan log file and check that the depth filtering parameter is set to mild value. Switch to OpenCL tab and make sure that all the OpenCL devices available are checked. It is recommended to employ OpenCL devices since Photoscan exploits GPU's acceleration which speed up processing significantly. This is it with the general settings. Now let's start our project. First of all you need to add photos. To do this click on the Add Photos Toolbar button on the workspace pane. Browse to the folder containing the images you are going to process. Here is my dataset prepared for the tutorial. Select all the photos and click Open button. On the workspace pane we see that a chunk has been created and it contains 32 cameras, that is 32 photos. The photos themselves can be seen on the photos pane. As you see, the photos contain not only the monument we would like to reconstruct in 3D, but also some background. To exclude background from reconstruction you could apply masks that are represented in Photoscan as contours bound in certain image regions. To create a contour you need to switch to the photo view. Just double click on the corresponding thumbnail in the photo pane. Zoom in for more precise selection. To add selection use one of the supported selection tools available from the toolbar. For our object the most suitable one is Intelligent Scissors that allows to draw the contour indicating the sequence of vertices which are automatically connected with segments. To enable snapping of the segments to the boundaries of the object, press Ctrl button on the keyboard. It takes certain time to do the masking. Note that the contour must be closed. To incorporate your selection in the current mask, you need to press Add Selection button. In our case, at first, we need to invert the selection to get the background selected. And then we press Add Selection button. Contours should be drawn on every photo. Alternatively, mask can be loaded from alpha channel of an image or as separate images, assuming that they were specially prepared with an external tool. To load masks, go to Tools menu and choose Import Masks command. We would like to import masks for the whole chunk from File, since they are saved as black and white separate images file. The mask for the file names is composed according to the file name structure. Click OK. Browse to the folder that contains the prepared masks and click Select Folder button to load the masks into your project. Shortly, the mask can be inspected on the photo pane. If you switch to the Show Masks view. Now we can start the processing. At first you need to align photos. Open Workflow menu and click Align Photos command. Choose High Accuracy for the best results. Leave Pair Preselection feature disabled since the dataset is not so big not to allow the program to compare all possible pairs of images to detect feature matches. Since our object is static and doesn't move against the background, there is no need to constrain the area to be searched by masks. On the contrary, background features can help to align photos more precisely. Click OK. It will take certain time to do the alignment. 
After the alignment is completed, you can inspect the point cloud in the model view. You can rotate it pressing and holding the left button of the mouse and drag it with the right button. Blue rectangles, rectangles indicate camera positions. They can be hidden with show cameras button. Now you can move on to the second processing step, build geometry. First of all, you need to adjust bounding box. It indicates the region of the scene, which will be reconstructed. Use the Resize Region tool to change the volume of the bounding box. Try to locate all the whole model within the bounding box. If there is such a need, the box can be rotated as well using Rotate Region tool. Now you are ready to run Build Geometry step. Open Workflow menu and choose Build Geometry command. For closed surfaces, you should choose Arbitrary Object Type. Set Geometry Type as Smooth. Target quality is set to medium value. Higher values can be preferred in the projects where super detailed geometry is required. Yet one should be careful when choosing high geometry quality value, since such operation will be demanding in memory and processing power resources. Face count parameter should be set to 200,000 value for the model to be exported into a PDF file. Click OK. 3D model reconstruction is a computationally intensive operation. It can take quite a long time, so we will have to wait for a while to see the results. Finally, the model has been reconstructed and you can observe it in various modes. Wireframe, solid and shaded. For more realistic and sharp visualization of the model, you can generate texture and apply it to the model. Yet, before you, made it, before you may need to edit geometry. In particular, unwanted faces could be removed from the model. Firstly, you need to indicate the faces to be, de to be deleted using Selection tool from the toolbar. Then, to remove the selection, use Delete Selection button on the toolbar. Now, to build texture, go to the Workflow menu and choose Build Texture command. Select Generic Mapping Mode and Average Blending Mode. Generally, 4096 pixel value is enough for texture atlas width and height, but for more detailed texture, each value could be set to 8192 pixels. Click OK. As you see, it takes not so long time to, do the to build the texture. Once the texture atlas is built, you can see the model in texture view. To save the model, select Export Model command from the File menu. In the Save As dialog box, select the folder for the model to be saved in, print in the file name, and choose preferred file type from the list, for example, PDF. Click Save button. In the Export Model dialog, indicate the desired export parameters. Click OK. You can view the model saved as a PDF file with Adobe Reader. Here, here is our model. This is the end of our tutorial illustrating the basic steps of close range imagery processing workflow in Edgesoft PhotoScan. Good luck in your future projects!